We are in my home kitchen today making peanut butter bars. We never make peanut butter stuff at the bakery, so you are in our home kitchen today, which is why it's a little bit darker, but these are delicious. They're super easy to make. No bake peanut butter bars. Let's get started with some almond flour and then some peanut butter. Here I'm using Kraft Smooth Peanut Butter because these are for my kids. I do prefer to use a natural peanut butter if I'm making them just for myself, but it makes them more kid friendly to use the smooth, at least in my house. But if you wanna go ahead and use a natural one that doesn't have the sugar and oils added, go right ahead, it's gonna be a healthier recipe. Next up is some maple syrup, but you could also substitute some honey or some sugar-free maple syrup. Then we're going to add some vanilla and some melted coconut oil. We really liked how the coconut oil adds to the texture of the set bars. We've tried a bunch of different recipes with and without coconut oil, with coconut flour, without flour, and this is the one we like the best. And I just added a pinch of salt as well, and then you're just gonna give it a mix until it comes together. Then we're gonna grab our eight by eight inch baking dish that's been lined with some parchment paper and we're gonna transfer all of our dough into there and we're gonna smooth it out. I actually found that the spatula was sticking to the spatula so I like to use my hands here. Don't be afraid to get your hands in there. And after you've got it all smoothed out, I popped it in the freezer just to let it set while we were working on the topping. So the topping, we're going to use some chocolate chips with some peanut butter. And the peanut butter kind of adds to the texture here and flavor as well. It kind of makes it kind of fudgy topping instead of just a hard snappy chocolate. There's two ways you can heat this up. Now our microwave just died this week at home so we can't do the quick easy microwave method where you would microwave it in 30 second bursts, give it a stir, and just keep going till it's nice and smooth and melted. We had to do the double boiler method while you do a pot of water and you're gonna put a heat proof bowl over top and then you can just heat it that way until it's smooth. Once it's all nice and melted, you can pour it on top of your bars and spread it out and then we're gonna pop that back in the fridge and let it set for two hours. Now you know me and I was impatient and I wanted to try these so I pulled them out early and we cut them and you can see they're very soft when I cut them and when we tried them, the texture wasn't quite set up. They were soft and a little bit grainy from the almond flour texture coming through but after they set for the two hours, then the coconut oil had solidified and it had more of a cookie dough bar texture which was absolutely delicious. These are all gone already and we're gonna have to make some more. If you give them a try, let me know what you think, and we will catch you in the next video. Bye!